welcome back to my channel dear learners so in this video we will derive the three equations of motion graphically so the three equations of motions are applicable only to the motion where the object is moving with uniform acceleration so the three equations of motion are as follows we have first one which is v is equals to u plus at second one is s is equals to ut plus half at square and third one is v square minus u square equal to 2as where u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity a is the acceleration t is the time taken s is the distance traveled by the object so how will we derive these equations graphically so let us consider an object which is moving with uniform acceleration so i have taken two x axes velocity on y axis and time on the x axis so we are drawing a velocity time graph this is the origin and let us consider that there is an object which is moving with a constant acceleration or uniform acceleration and its initial velocity is u its initial velocity at time when time equal to 0 let us consider the initial velocity of that object is u small u as i said small u is the initial velocity so it is as it is moving with uniform acceleration we will draw a straight line from here an object is moving with uniform acceleration and let us consider that the final velocity of the object is v so i am considering this final velocity as v in how much time it has taken to complete this journey let us take that is small t so i'll repeat again once for you so this is the origin so when time is equals to 0 the object starts with the initial velocity u and it moves with a uniform acceleration so i have drawn a straight line because it's a velocity time graph so the uniform acceleration is a straight line and it reaches to a final velocity v in time t right so let me join this also and let's name these points as this as a this is b c this point is d and this point is e right now it's very much clear that this distance from here till here is u and this complete distance from here from origin till the where the, the object moves is v so this distance this much distance from here till here it will become v minus u v minus u so this distance becomes v minus u the distance be will be equal to t 0 to t so because this is the this becomes a rectangle so this is also t this distance also becomes t right this is v minus u so this also becomes v minus u this also becomes t so let's derive the first equation which is v is equal to u plus at so for that let us take the slope slope of line slope of line ec you can see this line slope ec because the object is traveling along this line so let us take the slope of this line ec so what is slope given as slope is given as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which where x1 y1 x2 y2 are the coordinates of these points So what does the slope of a velocity time graph gives that's that we all know that velocity time graph uh, the slope of the line gives acceleration so the slope of line ac is actually the acceleration which is denoted by a now y2 minus y, y1 so what is uh, let's find the coordinates of these points e and c so i'm writing them here the coordinates of point e and coordinates of point c let us find the coordinates point e So what are the x and y coordinates of point E? So x is 0 and y it's u. So the coordinates of point this is 0 and u. For point C it is x on x axis it's t and on y axis on y axis it's v. On x the coordinates of point on x axis is this complete distance which is t and on y is this complete distance which is v right so y2 minus y1 so this is x1 y1 
x2 y2 right so y2 minus y1 is v minus u so v minus u over x2 minus x1 is t minus 0 t minus 0 so it becomes a is equals to v minus u upon t or i can write a t is equals to v minus u or i can also write it as v is equals to u plus a t which gives us sorry which gives us the first equation of motion so the first equation of motion is derived by taking the slope of the line ec or the slope of the line along which the object is moving now let us move to the second equation let us quickly just erase this part the second equation says s is equals to ut plus half a t square and what is s as i said s is the distance traveled how much distance the object travels is actually our s so velocity time graph how will we find the distance traveled the distance traveled is given by the area under the graph the area under the graph gives us the distance traveled right so i'll simply say that the distance traveled I will say the distance traveled is equals to area under the graph area under the graph so which area is under the graph this is my graph complete graph so this complete area so this complete area you can see here is the area under the graph right this yellow part the shaded portion is the area under the graph now i can see this area is actually divided into two parts this triangle this triangle which is ecb and this rectangle which is oabe so i can say what is distance traveled we are denoting the distance traveled by the letter s so distance traveled is area under the graph that means area of the triangle which triangle ecb ecb plus area of rectangle which rectangle e o a b e o a b now you can also apply the uh, trapezium formula you can see if you see o e c a, a is actually a trapezium or you can simply divide it into two parts which is a triangle and a rectangle whichever you find easy so s is equals to area of triangle if half into base into height plus length into breadth which is the area of rectangle now half what is the base base of this triangle which is eb eb of t so i'll instead of base i can write t and height height is this cb which is actually equal to this distance which is v minus u v minus u plus length into breadth so length is this distance oa which is t again t into and breadth is this distance which is u right so i can write as half v minus u now v minus u from first equation from first equation v minus u can be written as a t from first equation right so i can write this v minus u as a t so instead of this v minus u i have written a t plus u t so this gives me half a t square a and two t's are here plus ut so we get s is equals to ut plus half a t square so this is our second equation this gives us the second equation so first equation we derived by finding the slope of the line ec second equation we derived by finding the area under the graph and what about the third equation third equation is pretty simple we will not use anything instead we will use first and second equation to find the third equation okay so the third equation we have to derive is v square minus u square equal to 2as so let's take equation 2 from equation number 2 which is what is equation number 2 distance traveled is equals to ut plus half at square and what we have to derive we have to derive the third equation which is v square minus u square 
is equals to 2s. If you see in this equation, there is no t. There is no t anywhere. So we have to substitute t. So in this equation, instead of t, from first equation, what if t? t is equals to, what if t from first equation? v is equals to u plus a t was the first equation. So from first equation, t is equals to v minus u upon a. So we'll substitute this value of t in second equation because we don't have to get t in the third equation. So s as it is, u as it is, instead of time, I will write v minus u over a. This is simply mathematics, a and instead of t again, v minus u over a whole square because we have t square over here. Okay, so I can simply see that v minus u over a can be taken common. So v minus u upon a is taken common. What we are left here, we are left with u plus here we are left with 1 upon 2. 1a is common and 1a will cancel out, right? One, this is squared. So 1a we have taken out and 1a will cancel out the cancel out the another a. So we are just left with v minus u, right? So s is equals to v. Just simply solve it out. We'll take the LCM over here. The LCM, the LCM will come out to be 2. So this becomes 2u plus v minus u. So s is equals to v minus u over 2a. 2u minus u becomes u plus v as it is. So I'm taking this over here. Okay, so s is equals to v minus u, sorry. So now v minus u and v plus u. We know we a plus b, a minus b gives us a square minus b square upon 2a. So simplifying this equation, we get v square minus u square is equals to 2as, which is our third equation. So just to repeat quickly, first equation is derived by using the slope of the line. Second equation is derived by taking the area under the graph. You can use uh, area of trapezium as well, or you can simply drive this, uh, divide this area into two, which is the area of rectangle and area of triangle. And third equation is derived by using equation two and equation one by substituting the value of t from one into equation two. So if you like the video and understood the concept, do share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Thank you and have a nice day.